I'm Ori. Woo! I'm Jennifer. Mary. <laughs> One where our own home, California, has its waters receding into the middle and has its forest burn every summer. One where pavement covers more of the earth than grass. One where trees are cut down to make billboards say, save the planet. One where people get therapy to feel better about what they think is inevitable. is to be one of us until billions, to forget the power of technology and science, for so much will be forget, forgotten, never to be really or relearned, to forget the promise of progress and understanding, for there is no peace underneath the sky. We're all slowly being eaten away by the karma of others. We take too much from where we live and we give only scraps back. Maybe it's time we stop focusing on them. How we got here. The who got us here. And what is here. And turn our eyes to what, why we all need to fix it. Everything on Earth is set with an expiration date. Life is just a grace period for one generation to pass their genetic information to the next generation. In today's age, we've done marvelous feats. We map the human genome to later succeed in digitalizing life itself, down to the binary code where we just don't matter as an individual. Life is more than just a statistic. It is an experience. It is to feel the sand beneath your feet, hear the crashes of the ocean wave, smell the breeze of the boundless sea, see the orange hues on the sunset of the horizon, and the taste of sweet ice cream in your mouth. It is any person's right to experience what this wonderful world has to offer us. Because life cannot be quantified, but we can be qualified. If it is true that humans are selfish with the world, then let us be selfish in the fact that we live in this world. And we want to see more of the actual seas and forests and land, rather than on the computer screen which sees the garbage and polluted skies. Maybe it's time to stop focusing on the how we got here. And who got us here? And what is here? The human race will come to an end sometime. A new species might rule over this planet. Earth might not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces life we can. Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. What a wonderful world we all live in. What? One where the Amazon rainforest has flush fiber trees grow again, and its borders expand every day. One where the first scent of ocean air is breathable and livable, where we can simply and relax and live. One where the East Coast is saved by the jeweled east, uh, sea of the Atlantic. One where the expansive Midwest is springing up once again. One where our own home, California, has its crops and flowers grow and has its forests visited every summer. Yes, indeed. The lives of men and women are not measured by the years that we live our life on this earth, but the deeds we accomplish. Love we give back, and the future we guarantee. What a wonderful world we can all face. We push, they push. Every once in a while we push hard enough that the light breaks through the clouds, so the world beyond the smoke limits, just out of reach. Grass will grow and there will be nothing left of any of this. The land will heal itself as everything does and then. We'll be long gone by then, but maybe not forgotten. Even if history remembers one in a thousand of us, then the future will be filled with stories of who we were and what we did. Thank you. <laughs>